Right, I'm here with a friend of the Big Detective Show, a long-time friend of myself, uh, Steve Mera. Steve, uh, this weekend it's your Awakenings Conference in Bolton in Manchester uh, today. I've sat through three speakers already. One of them absolutely blew me away with his ability to speak. Tell me about the event and what to look forward to. Uh, well, the idea of this event was it's the first time it's a themed event that's ever been done. Uh, the subject might not be for everybody, but it's called the dark side of ufology. Why do we have a dark side of ufology? Well, you know what, we've travelled all over the world and some places we've been in and just told it as it is. You know, put it all on the table, good and bad, because you know, it's not all love and light. We've deduced people to tears in the Bible Belt areas of the US, never been invited back, and that's understandable. Um, but we believe we need to level the playing field. So this event is about taking the gloves off, to be honest with you, and just saying for what it is. It's been going on for too long, too long that it's all love and light and that, but the people that should get recognition are people that have had bad experiences, you know, because they're frustrated, they're annoyed about it, because they say, well, it's, it's not, it wasn't for me, it wasn't for me. And do you know what, some little dark stuff happens to the point where people are injured or even killed in some cases by this phenomenon. Um, it's been well documented, but you try and find information on it, it's buried away, it's pushed under the rug. And we feel that it's time really, because now we've got doctors, we've got professors, astrophysicists that are coming forward and saying there's a much more going on. And they don't want us to let us know because it obviously could induce some panic. This is why I think the whole thing about disclosure going on in the congressional hearings in the US, in UFOs in the US, is just, it's just, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's never gonna go anywhere. It's been going on for years, you know, Citizens Against Ufology movement in the 1970s. A disclosure project, they'll go on and on and on. Because the US have got have to have to do something, the public demanding. We want to know about UFOs, you have a right to tell us. So this inquiry inquiry happens. But the people that they're addressing and trying to get information from, they don't know, they haven't got a clue. It is some higher authority somewhere that knows a bit more. I aren't going to share that information with congressional guys. So then it's never going to go anywhere. And we'll end up back in the same boat again. Because I think the true aspects of the phenomena is much more complicated. I think it's, it's not easy, it's not a deliverable thing. You can just drop on the laps of people and say, hey, here's disclosure. I think people are just, what the hell is going on? Especially when you turn around and say, look, this phenomena, the evidence points that this phenomena is not travelling the vast distances of space backwards and forwards. Statistical surveys show like 15, every 15 to 20 seconds there's a UFO scene around the world. Well, that's multiple, multiple thousands of UFOs. And NASA have said, look, they've done a report, they're not finding a super highway of traffic going back and forth. So you have to get some little bits now and again in the ions, ionosphere disturbances. And to constitute that amount of UFOs, you think, where the hell are you coming from? Well, it seems the evidence points to that the more interdimensional they seem to be appear and disappear, they go about the business, rather than tracking backwards and forwards to Earth, and that's the big problem. So the hypothesis is starting to change, and, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the extraterrestrial you know, hypothesis, ETs, the name ETs has been pushed back to the corner of the room now. The new term is NHI, non-human intelligences, and that's very befitting because it's dropping the extraterrestrial stuff, because really evidence doesn't point to that, it points to something much more unusual. And I think that's the, that's the corridor we're going to be going down. And I think times are changing, slowly, more and more people are coming out and saying, okay, look, Leslie Keen, very, very well known ufologist and researcher and author, and she's got connections to some of the two biggest newspapers in the US, the Washington Post and New York Post. It came out as she made this statement, and I knew this was going to happen, and she says, UFOs constitute a session of paranormal and supernatural. I thought, okay, she's just brought all these things together, and she's saying it. Because I believe there are people in high levels that are going to utilise people like Leslie Kane because she can get to a big audience to deliver that information. So something's happening where they're changing the hypothesis to something else. Maybe it's in preparation for years to come, I don't know. But the problem is I don't know how it can be delivered because there are some bad things that do happen to people. People have been injured, people have been killed. And when you talk about a phenomenon that's right under our noses and can interact with us at any given time, that can cause a bit of panic. It's not something you want to drop on the laps of people, you know, the American public, hey, you know, we 
and so he put it, he's right there, and we can't do nothing about it. They cover the skies, we can't even light the drone. That's a massive, massive problem. So this event is about being able to level the playing field because everybody's talking about love and line, they did this for me, did that for me. But then there are other people which are frustrated that not, that's not the case for them. So it's a matter of just saying it for what it is. This is the subject, take it or leave it, it's what it constitutes. And you make your own mind up about it. So these events don't happen because when we go all around the world, they're always about love and line. And it doesn't get a level playing field. You don't hear about somebody really. How often do you hear about animal mutilations, animal attacks? Trust me, don't care. And they get worse than that, believe me. <clears throat> they don't want to talk about it, but it's still going on. I mean, France is just out of Spain of 27 horses. 27 of them, exactly the same process. I have no idea. No idea how those things are being done. It's still happening today, as it was years and years ago. People used to say, oh, it's the government, the American government are doing it. You know, well, what happens when you come across reports which are 400, 600 years ago? That's before we had the technology to even go and do these things. So, yeah, there's some problems in this subject. So I'm just trying to allow people to come forward, deliver what they want to do. Gloves off. I said, what can you talk about? I said, talk about what you want. Yeah. Go for it. So this obviously is a constant... The conferences happen constantly, every couple of a uh, couple every year. Yeah, well, we've got your next one. August. Your next one coming up in August yeah. is based on the Skinwalker Ranch, which yeah, people is, know yeah. from the TV series and historically, so many other people have spoke about the Skinwalker Ranch before it became in the public perception from yeah, it's discovery. Now, it? um, it's about the geology. What people realise is that there's a strong connection between the phenomena and the geology of the land. It always has been more so than the sky. You don't think about this. Um, we've got UFOs that have been filmed going into the ground, into hillsides, into mountains. When we got these videos that come out from the Pentagon, pilots, police helicopters that are recording these objects and they go into the water, they don't even wake. It's because they're skirting our reality. This is how they can go into physical objects like mountains and lake eos and all sorts of things. Now, they don't want to tell people that because they're trying to get scientists involved. So what they're saying is they're calling it transmedium travel underwater in the air in space. What we're not telling you is that we can do that as well because it's going to scare scientists away. They don't want to do it. Well, let's not scare the scientists. We want them to come on board. And we start dropping that on the lines and saying, well, it's actually is a quad medium and that goes into through solid matter. Well, that's your paranormal stuff. It's the same as your paranormal stuff, isn't it? You know? um, it's hard to get your head around, but it's, it's all high strangeness. This is when you've got cryptids, you've got the paranormal, you've got UFOs. And you've got everything associated to the ground, really, because we've got one place in the U uh, in the UK called Bempton. Paul Sinclair deals with those incidents. All sorts of stuff going on. That's high strangeness. We've got some strange things. It's still going on at Winter Hill. Now you've been to Winter Hill. You've done investigations at Winter Hill. Yeah. We've we've come back a while. It's still going on there. There are still reports still happening there. You know, and it's. I think why is it there? What is it something about the geology of the land? And I think this ties to something more strongly associated with geology. So I've got obviously the Skidwalker guys coming over and other ranchers, you know. And this uh, is the first time in the UK. It's the first time appearance in the UK. These people coming which are specialists who, who grew up on Clearview Ranch, uh, Wilson Ranch, Bradshaw Ranch, you know, there, there, there are all these remote locations, the phenomenal like remote locations to do these things and it's all the telltale signs of cryptids, paranormal, UFO all in one location and that's what makes it high strangeness so we really do another themed event just on the subject of high strangeness because I like doing these themed events because we could really really hard focus on what's actually going on in regarding high strangeness and it's not just the US it's happening in the Emsky Triangle in Russia you know it is, it is a place in Ireland it's a place, there's two places in the UK it's all over the world but the problem is, is that people think it's, oh, it's always in America. It's not. Stuff's been going on for a long time in many of these places in Russia and all over the world. Well, Steve, I'm going to bid you adieu because I've had a text message to tell me my, my son that Mark Ollie is on and I have to go and watch Mark oh, Ollie with him. So uh, thank you very much. Good luck with the event. Where can people get tickets for the next event? Uh, well, we're selling tickets today, uh, but they'll go on sale for the general public. Um, I believe around about the 1st of March they'll be available for pictures and for people to purchase. Um, and of course, you know, let's not forget the fact Awakenings.com? Awakening.com? Yeah, it's awakening.com or awakening.co.uk. Um, and you can find out 
bit more about that. But geology is everything at the end of the day. Just like, you know, metal detecting, you're digging stuff up. You know, it's all about geology of the land. And sometimes some people find some unusual things and they're doing a lot of digging. They're doing a tremendous lot of digging, more so than what they're letting know. Well, I won't tell you about the book I'm in the process of writing, but oh, that it's in that sphere. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Take care. Thank you.